How to download Roblox Studio on Chromebook. Now here's Roblox Studio working on my Chromebook. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get Roblox Studio on your Chromebook. Now go ahead and click the launch on the bottom left hand side of your screen. Now once you're- hey, Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe and bell button and comment down if you face a problem in this video. Here I need you guys to type in settings and hit enter right away. Great. Now I need you guys to focus on the left panel, scrolling all the way down to the bottom until you find the about Chromeware section. Excellent. Now go ahead and search for the Linux development environment and click the setup button to the right hand side of that. Now once in the interface, I need you guys to go ahead and click on next. Now as you can see, it allows you to customize your username and so I'm going to make my GD7OS for the sake of this video. And I'm going to leave it on recommended because 10 gigs is just enough for me and I'm going to click on install. Now, once this is downloading, we'll be moving on to the next step. Great. Now, once your terminal is down downloading or installing, go ahead and click on your launcher on the left hand side and type in terminal. And then once that is there, go ahead and select the one with the green and white slash right there. Now, once this opens, go ahead and click on penguin right under Linux, which should load you and boot you up into your terminal. Now, go down in the description and click on the link to my website to get the codes from my site. Now these first two codes are crucial when it comes to downloading Roblox Studio on your Chromebook and so you need to pay attention. Now the first code is suitor space apt space update and hit enter right away. Great. Now once that is done just go ahead and type in sudo space apt space upgrade and hit enter once again. Now before we move on, there is this one crucial element or one crucial requirement we need to make sure we have, else this is going to jam up our whole process of downloading Roblox Studio on a Chromebooks in 2025. That's where we're going to go ahead and type in cat space with a forward slash, type in etc, another forward slash, type in debian, and then another underscore, and then you want to go ahead and type in version. And then go ahead and hit enter now anything from the ranges of 10 to 13 is pretty good and pretty solid for our installation and so once you're within that range go ahead and type in sudo space apt space install and bring another space and type in flat pack with a k and then hit enter now once you're done with this we're on to something good now go ahead and click on the link down in the description to get to my website. Once on my website, I need you to copy this terminal code right here. Copy the long length of this code. This does not need to be modified. That's why I didn't let you type it. Go ahead and right click this into your terminal and hit enter right away. Now this is another point of the video where you need to pay attention. Else this could jump up installing Roblox Studio on your Chromebook in 2025. And so what we want to go ahead and do is go ahead and right click the terminal icon. And then you want to go ahead and click on shut down. Now, once this is shut down, you can go ahead and click on penguin right here at the top. You can see that it shows the penguin and it says penguin. Click on that and then let it boot all over again. Now, you need to lock in because this is one of the problems or one of the places where people got errors when it came to downloading Roblox Studio on the Chromebooks in 2024. Now, what you want to go ahead and type is sudo space flat pack space install. Take your time. Space flat hub space org dot vinegar now that the spelling of vinegar is one thing that a lot of people struggled with so make sure to pay attention to that and then go ahead and type in another dot and go ahead and make sure that this next vinegar is a capital v and then i n e g a r with a forward slash go ahead and type in x86 underscore 64 and then go ahead and bring another forward slash and type in stable. Now I put in this new code to make sure that it works for everyone that is using a Chromebook. Go ahead and hit enter once you're done with this. Now once it asks you why slash n, just go ahead and type in y and then hit enter right away. Now with this very step, go ahead and hit y again and hit enter again. Okay, now once that's done, just go ahead and type in flat pack space run space org dot vinegar be careful with the spelling of vinegar and make it hq bring another dot and bring the capital v this time around and type in vinegar just like the other time and then this time around we want to go ahead and type in studio run and then hit enter right away now some of you might have to run this code twice and others of you might have to put sudo before the flashback to actually let it work and so as you can see it says initializing wine prefix here it's going to install everything right on the spot and then it should load up roblox studio in a short time now just go ahead and click install if you get any kind of message on your screen 
Great. Now, as you can see, this worked on the first run. We didn't have to start our code with sudo, and we also didn't have to run this twice. And so if this works for you on the first time, that is great. And as you can see, it says Roblox Studio, start creating your own experience. Now, bear in mind that the Roblox Studio icon is also going to be in your launcher. And so anytime that you like, you can go ahead and type in Roblox Studio, and then you're going to see it right here. You can click on it once you've closed out of it for the first time. So I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to wait for a box to appear so that I can log in. Great. Now, as you can see, the box has loaded, and it says log into Roblox. And so I'm going to go ahead and type in my password and my email, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Great. Now, as you can see, Roblox Studio has fully loaded, and it's working on our Chromebooks. Now, in order to test out whether this works, let's go ahead and try something like the platformer and see how that goes now as you can see it's even giving us the new dragger improvement beta this is the latest version that anyone could get now to actually test out whether this actually works we're going to go ahead and click on play now as you can see on my screen this is working and it's fully playable now if you happen to face any frame drops i'm going to leave a link to a video at the end of the video make sure to click on that however i'm going to try out this pvp or i think it's a platformer game instead